Imagine loving your job so much that when you're able to retire, you keep right on working for free. This next story is about a man who has done just that. Here's Jay Shevsky. Barry Bauman is an art conservator. With tools as simple as cotton swabs, razor blades, and solvents, he does the meticulous work of revealing an artist's true intention. It's the satisfaction to have the painting look as close as the original artist wanted it to look. Barry Bauman has been doing this work for more than 40 years. But for the last 14 years, he's given his work away. In that time, he's worked on nearly 2,000 paintings and spent many thousands of hours. And he hasn't charged a penny for work that could have earned him millions of dollars. Why? Well, the story begins in the early 70s. With a brand new master's degree in art history from the University of Chicago, Bauman applied for a job in the conservation department at the Art Institute of Chicago. And I walked into the laboratory, and there were three Monets sitting on the floor, waiting for treatment, leaned up against the wall. And I, as a young art historian, I thought I had died and gone to heaven. After 11 years there, he started his own company, the Chicago Conservation Center, which he owned for 20 years. And when I sold the company, we had 23 employees in six different areas of conservation. It was actually the largest private facility in America at the time. He was glad to be done running a business, he says, but he missed the work. It was his wife who suggested that he keep doing it for free. Conservation has never been work for me. It's always been a reward. Since then, he's done conservation work exclusively for museums and other nonprofits. I mean, where are the best paintings? They're in museums. So I'm getting an opportunity to work on, on paintings that museums would never be able to afford the luxury of conservation work. They just don't have those kind of budgets. Bauman estimates that he has saved art museums roughly $6.9 million. So what is this valuable work that Barry Bauman gives away? How does he transform this painting into this one? Or how does this become this? He says part of what he does comes down to cleaning. I have this painting partially cleaned uh, at the moment. This is the discolored varnish in this area here. Like most old master paintings, this 500-year-old Renaissance work is covered with varnish to protect it. But the varnishes they used in the past discolored as they aged. And you had what is often referred to as the smoky tones of the old masters. But you can see how discolored this is from the actual tone that the artist intended. The work on one painting can take six months, and it usually involves more than cleaning. Because as he removes the varnish, Barry Bauman often finds paint that was added in restoration work that could itself be hundreds of years old. And when I remove that work, it will undoubtedly uncover former areas of loss. Again, the painting is 500 years old. You would expect that it's gonna have some previous problems. To repair the loss, first Bauman added a white material called gesso to make the surface flat. Then he matches the color and replaces the missing paint. Though Barry Bauman has spent thousands of hours putting brush to canvas, he is the first to say that he is not an artist. I have none of those instincts at all to create. That is done by artists. Being an artist is a gift from God. But I am a painter. I know how to paint. I know how to match colors. I know how to make forms look round. It's that analytical approach to what I know that I bring to painting conservation. Some paintings have structural problems, like this 1905 painting by Thomas Moran. When it came in, it was cracked terribly throughout the entire painting. The old warped stretcher was replaced with a special one with springs. It also needed a new backing and in-painting. 30 hours later, the change is dramatic. 
Conservation is an invisible sport. When you go into a museum, no one knows who did the conservation work. And that's the way it should be. It's the artist that's important. But for myself, it's still a reward to know that I had a relationship with that painting that allowed it to look its best. And by doing the work for free, he not only helps the paintings, but the bottom lines of museums around the country. For Chicago Tonight, this is Jay Shefsky. Barry Bauman was featured on Chicago Tonight and in the New York Times five years ago when he discovered that a 19th century portrait of Mary Todd Lincoln was a fraud. You can watch that story on our website. And before we give Barry Bauman a call to work on your painting, remember he only does work for museums and other nonprofits.